This movie is presented by System Vlog Academy and please do subscribe to our channel to watch more System Vlog design, verification and UVM videos. Introduction to Assertions In this session you will be getting introduced to Assertions. You will see what is an assertion, when, where and who should write assertions in, in a design and sponge environment. What is an assertion? It is an embedded check in the code. That check could be added either in the design file or in the response file or it could be written separately and it could be associated with the design files. In general, an assertion is added to watch two specific set of conditions. Either a specific condition has occurred in the simulation or a specific sequence has occurred in the simulation. You will come to know more, more about these two statements in the coming sessions when you will, when you will know what is an immediate assertion and what is a concurrent assertion. After writing the assertions and enabling it in the simulation, it can monitor and report two kinds of behavior. It can either report the forbidden behavior or it can report the expected behavior. In the first case, when you use it for reporting the forbidden behavior, it will flag error when the a specific condition or the sequence was violated in simulation. So it is a common usage of assertion and it's intention of writing assertion as well. But the same set of assertions can also be used to, to check whether the expected behavior has occurred in the simulation or in other words to cover the specific scenario or sequence has occurred in the simulation. Thus apart from the usual checking part, assertions can also be used for coverage collection. The next question is who should write assertion whether it is the RTL design engineers or the verification engineers. The answer is both design engineer and verification engineer should be comfortable in writing assertions. But in general, design engineers will be writing more assertions than verification engineers. The assertions which are specific to the behavior of the DUT will be written by the design engineers while the code the, the design code. Or in other words, the design engineers will be writing the white box assertions in the in the design. On the other hand, the assertions which are not specific to the DUT behavior or which are kind of black box in nature will be written by the verification engineers. Of course, there is an area of overlap between these two, but this is a general agreement between um, design engineers and verification engineers because the verification engineer will not be knowing much details of the design uh, implementation. But for a formal verification engineer, of course, he should be right, a master of writing assertion. Formal verification is a technique used uh, to verify your design by using mathematical models and there you will write a lot of assertions to describe the DUT behavior. You will not be writing stimulus or you will not be injecting any stimulus to the DUT while verifying using formal verification techniques but it's all about uh, using mathematical models. And a final word on this if you are a verification engineer who, are, who is planning to attend a verification interview, you could definitely expect a lot of questions related assertions. And the next question, where should you write assertions in the code? Typically, verification design engineers will keep on adding assertions while they write their code and those assertions are the functional properties of the DUT. Apart from that, you could write assertions in the interfaces to just to check the interface signals and also you could add assertions in the interface to check the protocol of the interface like the properties of an AXI protocol or an OCP protocol. The next question is why should you write assertions in the code? So you know that assertions are embedded checks in the code. So before answering this question, let's see whether only assertions are required in the code or do you need additional checkers and other verification steps in the code if you are adding assertions into the code? The answer is of course you need additional checkers. Only assertions are not required in the code. Assertions are minimal checks in the code which will uh, do certain functionality in the simulation. But definitely you should be adding your regular test bench components for uh, the checking the behavior of the DUT. Now when there are additional checkers in the later stage of the sim simulation, why should you write assertions in the code? The simple answer for that is observability. That means assertions are widely used for detecting uh, errors at the early stage. If you go to check an error from in the simulation, you need to 
trace back to the place where the actual problem lies in the RTL. But if there is an assertion error in the simulation, it is exactly pointing to the place in which the design code is making a, making an issue. So the errors are more, uh, the faults are more uh, closer to the actual RTL or actual RTL code and it will improve the verification efficiency as well. Also, you could write simple assertions to model very complex corner case checks which are very difficult uh, in, in the checker modeling. So, typically you will add you will add a lot of simple assertions in the early stage of your design development. But finally, there should be uh, checks uh, assertion checks to cover the corner case scenarios of your DUT behavior. So that uh, even if you are missing in the checker in your checker implementation, those are captured in the assertions. Finally, we will answer this question, what tools are I needed in, in a modern verification environment? Nowadays, most of the companies are writing their RTL or the design code in system verilog, pure system verilog. In the verification side, you need stimulus. The stimulus will be quite often written in system verilog language as well, but nowadays, mo most of the companies use UVM or the universal verification methodology, which is a subsidiary of the system verilog language. And a UVM based stimulus will be used uh, across most of the unit level and cluster level. But in top level uh, verification, it could be a different way of uh, injecting stimulus depending on the complexity of the DUT. But for in general, for stimulus, you will use UVM. And apart from the stimulus, you need to check the coverage of the stimulus. That means whether you had actually simulated all the intended behavior of the DUT. So that is written by that is uh, measured by writing coverage, which is again written in system Verilog, and by uh, analyzing the coverage, you will be able to understand whether you have covered all the intended scenarios that is for the test uh, for testing of DUT. And finally, you will be writing assertions as you have seen right here. Assertions will also be written in system Verilog. So in a modern simulation verification environment, you will write stimulus in UVM, you will write coverage in pure system log, and you will write assertions in pure system log. This is presented by System Verilog Academy and if you like the video, please do subscribe our channel for more System Verilog design, verification and UVM videos. Also, don't forget to take a look at the different playlists that we have created in our channel which will teach a set of selected topics in System Verilog. Thank you for watching.